Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about how to test uh, hypotheses about a single population parameter, beta j. And uh, we were using t-test for testing any hypotheses about any of those coefficients. And before we do anything, we have to do two things. First, we have to set up our null and alternative hypotheses in order to test those hypotheses. The next one is we have to set a rule of rejection using this alpha which is the probability of rejecting H0 when it is true. After we have that, based on these, we can um, have a critical T values and then we can calculate our T values from the beta coefficients and compare those with the critical value of uh, the T value that we will get from our rejection rule. And anytime our calculated value, it is greater than the critical value, we will reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so here's an example and uh, in this example, I'm using which data set. We are interested in knowing whether experience has any impact on uh, wages after controlling for education and tenure. The first thing we need to do here is we have to set up our hypotheses. So our H0 here is that return to experience that the beta of experience is zero. And we will test this against our null hypothesis is that no, actually beta of experience, it is positive. So that's the first step. In the second step, we will pick an alpha, that is the level of significance, and the get critical value of our rejection rule. So we are essentially setting up a rejection rule here. We are picking alpha equals 5% or 0 0.05. So based on this, we're gonna pick a critical value of a T test. Let's call this C. This critical value based on alpha equals 0 0.05 and you can get this uh, critical value based on two argument. The first is again alpha that is our level of significance and the degrees of freedom and we know our degrees of freedom is 522. That is there are 526 observations in the data minus k which is 3, 1, 2 and 3 minus 1 for the intercept and you will get uh, our degrees of freedom as 522. So based on these two, we can get critical value as 1.645. So that is our critical value. So now everything is set up. All we have to do is we have to calculate a T value for our beta experience. And remember that is beta experience minus beta J or beta for experience. That is the actual population beta divided by the standard error of beta of experience estimate because beta experience this is the beta value for experience it is 0 0.044 this value will come from regression output minus this is our hypothesized value of the actual beta and, and our hypothesis here is it is zero we're going to divide it by the standard error so remember we talked about this standard error in the last section of the last chapter. So this is coming from uh, that formula. So our calculated value is approximately 2.41. So now we have everything. So this is our rejection rule. So reject H0 if this T value is greater than the critical value. So we are assuming here that the mean beta is zero. That is our hypothesis. Now we have to compare this with the critical value and our calculated value. So based on uh, based on the critical value, which is 1.645. So this, so this is our rejection region. Remember, if our calculated value is greater than the critical value, then we're going to reject this null hypothesis. Okay, so what is our calculated value? It is 2.41. It may fall somewhere here. So seems like our calculated value 2.41 it is greater than the critical value of 1.645 so we're going to reject h0 and what was our h0 our h0 was that experience has no impact on uh, wages we're going to reject that hypothesis i'm going to conclude that experience has positive impact on wages so right that was our alternative hypothesis. 
Okay, that's the first example where our null hypothesis was that our variable of interest it is not having any impact on uh, y. Against the alternative of that, it has a positive impact on y variable. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, testing one side hypothesis on the other side of this curve, where we're going to assume that beta is negative. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.